today, our journey takes us to East St. Louis, Illinois. Population, 27,000. East St. Louis, the city of champions, sits less than one mile from downtown St. Louis, Missouri. More than 20,000 Illinoisans commute daily into Missouri for employment. Millions of square feet, formerly empty office space, is being converted into boutiques, condominiums, restaurants, and nightclubs. The downtown bristles with activity and has become key to the area's economic development. East St. Louis, the location from which iconic images of the mighty Mississippi, sports venues for the National Football and Major League Baseball franchises are often taken. Downtown East St. Louis, once thriving with department stores, restaurants, and office space, has been in perpetual decline for 40 years. A small number of stores, sparsely visited, selling knockoff clothes, shoes, and accessories line the street, just a few short blocks from City Hall. Once beautiful architecture deteriorates unchecked. So we went out to talk to the residents to get their view on the situation. Why do you think the stores here are allowed to sell knockoff clothing, DVDs, and music within walking distance of City Hall and the police station? Well, I, I think um, the city here in East St. Louis is so desperate for, for cash and desperate for uh, a tax base that they allow people to do whatever they want, uh, not caring about any copyright infringements or, or franchise infringements. Number one, uh, they don't. But due to circumstances, you have a uh, bad economy, you got people who are out of jobs. Uh, they want to live the good life also. So these hustlers, and uh, uh, they get their little license and get their petty license and come out and uh, make a hustle. Why do you think some businesses allow sometimes large groups of people to loiter outside their business? Well, I, I can't prove it, and I don't know for sure, but in my opinion, I think uh, a lot of times the people are selling drugs for those establishments. Uh, being a former retail business owner and a current um, construction company owner, I would never allow people to stand outside my store. It stops your potential customer from even wanting to come in, and it poses a safety hazard. Why do you think some businesses allow sometimes large groups of people to loiter outside their business? Uh, they used to do that, but uh, it's changed. East St. Louis has changed. Uh, if large crowds are loitering outside of the buildings, all the business has to do is call the police and the police will come disperse them. Do you see this as a problem? Absolutely. Uh, yes, I see. What are some challenges facing East St. Louis business owners today? Uh, first of all, it's difficult to even become a business owner uh, in East St. Louis. Uh, most of the stores here are owned by um, Arab, uh, Arab and, and folks who aren't from the city of uh, East St. Louis. It's very difficult for minorities to gain a business license in the city of East St. Louis uh, because of the uh, leverage that the Arab gentlemen uh, have here in this community. Residents of East St. Louis are beginning to speak out against decades of political corruption and rampant crime. Over the years, they've watched as twice the FBI has raided City Hall. With more than a dozen city officials indicted and convicted, the residents' concerns are real. One former city official speaking from prison is quoted as saying, I was a better man before I won office.